Today's video is about Dochi's really, really, really good album, Alligator Bites Do Not Heal. And to be quite honestly, this album is so good, let the damn bite infect itself. Like, it's actually fantastic. Real ones, let me know what y'all think. Drop a salute in the chat if you're getting this far. But the point that I'm trying to make is I really believe that Doji dropped probably one of the best projects of the year. And yes, we're nine months in, so it's a good pro it's a good time to start to take stock about what the best projects of the year is. And Dochi is really coming in hot. And there are going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, why is everybody talking about Dochi all of a sudden? And they're going to kind of call industry plant allegations. And they're going to say that all of these interf that all these reviews are planned. And what I have to say to them is they are hoteps. And they do not want to accept the fact that this black woman dropped a really, really good album because it is actually that good. Okay, cool. Now that we like cleanse the whole tepness out of this conversation, let's talk about the damn music. Dochi from South Florida has been doing her thing for a number of years. She had a really, really lovely EP, All the Places You'll Go in 2020, I thought was good. Also dropped Coven Music in 2019, and she got signed to TDE, and honestly is showing that TDE is doing just fine ever since Kendrick left. With Schoolboy Q with the fantastic album at the top of this year, and now Dochi, I think TDE is just fine. And on this album, Alligator Bites Do Not Heal, Doji talks about the ever-present struggle of dealing with labels, talking about how you have to make a TikTok song so in order to go viral, talking about fighting with stands. She has this one line where she's just basically saying, stand on your comment. This is what Chaperone needs to be doing. Chaperone needs to be fighting niggas in her, in her lyrics. That's what she needs to be doing. Stay off of that woman. That's weird. Y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all fans are a little weird. So let me know what y'all think, but I feel like she's always been a skilled rapper. Like I loved Crazy, she Her Black Bitch was one of my favorite projects of 2022. It was a small EP and this is like the first time that we're seeing a large body of work. It's about 19 songs. Dude, they're long enough to, they're short enough to make an impression. Long enough to make an impression, but not long enough to get boring or tired. But there were a few times that I was w asking for another minute or two on the songs. But honestly, that's very rich of me, of all people, that has been complaining about long albums for a very, very long time. So for me to get 19 songs and you know what, the album comes in at about what? What? 47 minutes, this is exactly what I wanted. Me and my ADD brain are totally down with this. The production is fantastic, has beats that are gonna make you screw up your face like a dried tomato. I don't know where I was going with that, but the point I'm trying to make is it gets kind of gritty on it. Notably on uh, Boiled Peanuts, Catfish, and Get the Fuck Out. And speaking of Get the Fuck Out, she has doesn't really have any big features on this project. Don't know why, she could have had really big features on it, but I feel like what she delivers is basically something that allows her to shine. One feature, it's Cuntfish. Fish, cunt fetish who had never heard up until this time and that name of a of an artist name is fantastic so cunt fetish if you are out there somewhere in the ether and you're watching this video fantastic name love it love it love it catfish she says it's time to wake people up because folks have been sleeping on the track list and i really believe they've been sleeping on dochi for a very long time on wait dochi speaks to the anxious person inside all of us with possibly one of the sweetest choruses of the year so far it says this right delete your call log and clear your agenda you should just eat what's on your plate oh my gosh is it always the human condition to try to achieve more than you can constantly achieve or is it just a symptom of capitalism tune in tomorrow at 5 p.m for my dissertation there will not be a dissertation the answer is yes to all of those questions but i think dochi synthesizes it perfectly in this chorus and then the flow in the first verse it's just so rhythmic it's so focused i i love it i love it i love it and then on this bar right here doing acrobatics falling face first ass down i was playing father figure now i'm making six now six figures now my shit's bigger and you're sick now who would thought that Jayla Hickman be a hit now. For anyone not knowing, Jayla Hickman is Dochi's real government name. And I just feel like the lyrical dexterity here Dochi is rapping, bro. She's rapping. On Nissan Altima, she's rapping. On Denial is a River, she's telling a story. She's rapping. She really has the lyrical dexterity to really deliver tons of exposition in a brief bit. Just to talk about Denial is a River, I love that song. It has the high pitched voice of like a therapist type that was in Yucky Bucky Fruitcake. I'm definitely getting that name wrong, but that was in her song Yucky Bucky Fruitcake off of All the Places You'll Go. So it's kind of like her talking with herself. And Denial is a River, she takes it as a time to kind of give an update on her life and how things have changed and she kind of goes from 2021 to 2022 to 2023 there is a lyric on the on denial is a river that some people were saying can sing is transphobic but i think 
it's not because she's talking about dating a bisexual man and that the person that like he was cheating with was actually a man and not actually a woman and also i don't think there's necessarily been a history of dochi being transphobic maybe y'all could say something different and if i'm wrong i will totally amend this or i'll leave a comment in the and in, in, i'll leave something in the comments but it doesn't necessarily feel like that to me i love this on boom bap where she screams to get top on the phone get top on the phone tell him it's a rap nigga get top on the phone tell him it's a rap nigga and say it's real it's a rap and boom and it bap and it bounce and it clap and it's house and it's trap just in me reading it like that i don't even read it that well right like she's just she's just like just laying it down here and i another thing another thing another thing i'm all over the place but another thing i love the confidence that she shows throughout this project in so many different ways and as a bisexual i love the bisexual propaganda that's all over this album all over this album so for any like hoteps or bible thumping losers that are watching this video now's the time to put your earmuffs on on nissan ultima she says this they say Dochi, you delulu, you a loose screw. She really giving cunt and the pussy, the pussy voodoo. She swapped out the old nigga for a bitch. Ain't new, new. She munching on the box while she watching Hulu. One very Nicki Minaj on those bars right there. Very, very Nicki Minaj like breaking that down. Okay, and then Doja Cat, and then now Dochi. It's like kind of like a you know, it kind of like moves really. It kind of moves down to and with Missy Elliott too. Missy Elliott at the top of that too. So I. Look, the, the inspirations are there, right? But in terms of like the bisexual agenda, love that here. Or another one on Stankapoo. She says, whole lot of pussy and a whole lot of dick, whole lot of bills and a whole lot of kids. <laughs> Dochi's for the people. Dochi loves who she wants to love. And it doesn't matter if it got a pussy or if it got a dick. Dochi's here for it. Bars! I love how she talks about dealing with fans, notably on Bullfrog, where she says, like a cable, we jump hoes. Twitter fingers get your whole life logged out, bitch. Ahem, <clears throat> ma'am. Ma'am, I'm Prophet Dochi raps about having to deliver a song that the label's going to like while also making money and like kind of like the, the, the mental gymnastics that goes in order to change yourself in order to become a more accessible um, persona because of now the fact that you have to be introduced to a wider audience. You can't just like placate to your base anymore. Like you actually have to expand your palette. You have to expand your musical palette. And I feel like she does that really well on Prophet. One of my favorite songs in the album is Slide. Oh my gosh, people are already thinking about who they would love to see on the album who they would love to see as a as a remix in the album and sometimes i just got something to say i just got something to say let me know what y'all think but sometimes i feel like when people are immediately trying to remix a song or try to remix an album when it's only been out for three days it's like yo can we just accept what we got so far let's 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 relax let's relax beverly hills oh really really lovely and like honestly the title track alligator bites never heal anyways dochi's alligator bites never heal is a braggadocious introspective bold and honestly fun project i i love it i think it's one of the best of this year and it's probably 18 for 19 songs maybe 19 for 19 who knows how i'll feel about it in a week or two months but as of this moment i love it and i have not been able to stop playing it since i started playing it after big sean's album last week let me know what y'all think drop a w if you made it this far in the comments it's your boy Jacques. follow like and subscribe i'll see you on the next one peace